What's up you guys, Forrest here with the FOCO Flow Show. If you are new to the channel, we are a mountain bike focused channel based in Charlottesville, Virginia, where we highlight all the awesome trails that we have in the Virginia, North Carolina, Maryland, Blue Ridge Mountains, focusing on the George Washington National Forest and the surrounding area. We also do bike reviews, and in this week's video, we're reviewing five different mountain bike products for under $25. So these aren't gonna be the super high-end things, but they're gonna be affordable, but hopefully some good products that are useful on the trail, trail maintenance repairs or wearable whatever it is that you're gonna use with your mountain biking so it hopefully makes mountain biking more fun easy and a little bit more affordable so if you're enjoying the content please make sure that you like and subscribe share the channel it really helps I'll have some links in the description to some of these products purchases through those affiliate links help support the channel so we can all get out there better and find that flow <laughs> is the Sweat Buster from Trax Factory. So this is one of those products that the genius is in its simplicity. I ride during the summer and I am dripping sweat buckets. I've been wearing that bandana and this retrofits into any mountain bike helmet. And from there, it takes the sweat away. Easy to install, super affordable, less than $15. Trax Factory was cool enough to send me a couple of these to try them out. I've been using them for a couple of months now over the summer and have been really, really happy with them. So the steps to install the Sweat Buster couldn't be more simple, but does sort of depend on the type of helmet you're using and what the existing pads are configured like. I've got the Troy Lee Designs A1 Classic, and so I've got a connected piece that goes around the forehead and over around the back. Because of how that entire pad is connected, it actually requires cutting out a piece of that forehead pad and leaving the rest of it connected in. Some people may not like that too much, and you might be able to work around it, but for this situation, uh, mine was mostly worn out, and I was having trouble wearing uh, headbands to make everything fit right. So for me, it was no big deal just cutting out the bottom pack piece of the uh, sweat pad, and then using the little included Velcro straps that were already in there to attach the sweat brow right inside. So all you do is you take the sweat buster, you put it label side down, and then you press it into the Velcro pads that you have then installed into the forehead of the helmet. And once you have it set up, there's nothing left to do but to take it out on the trail and see how the helmet fits and how it wicks away the sweat. All right, we made it up to a, <clears throat> a good top of the climb here. Sweating buckets, but let's see, how did we do? on the head pretty dry look at that stayed in place helmet didn't move pretty impressive there i gotta say simple genius solved a major problem for me i'm a big fan of this definitely for 15 dollars or so it's worth the purchase in my opinion retrofit to any helmet highly recommend it on this one so checking the Trax Factory website, you can see that uh, you can get a single one of the either skinny or regular size sweat busters for $13.99 or a two fur pack for $25.99. So this fits neat and tidy underneath our goal of $25 or less. Simple, easy to use. I'll leave a link in the description along with all these other products. So if you're interested, you can check them out and order for yourself. Next up on the list is the Granite Talon Tire Lever and Chain Tool. At just over $10, this might be the most versatile product that we have on the list today. So what we have is tire levers on one side, but they also bolt into each other. And then if you break them apart and press the other side here, you have a trail side bike lever and latch. Super handy, super lightweight. And you'll see also has links on the inside. Close them up here, and so they're there. Links, and then what I like to do is take tire um, valve core and a few valves, which you just never know. I do this myself. Drop them in right there. Couple, and then. 
you've got a super versatile thing that you can strap in here with the also the granite. So I've got my tube, put this in here, and then we're good to go. So strapped on the frame of your bike, you can fix a flat, you can replace a valve core, uh, and you can replace a chain all in one swoop. So these ones are on Amazon, easy to find, easy to order. You can see it right here. Again, link in the description, another highly recommended tool for less than $25. Next up on the list is the Anazer Mini Tripod iPhone Go Pro Holder. So if you're like me and most mountain bikers, you like to get third-person ride footage when you're doing a cool technical feature or by yourself or with your buddies and you want to get that third-person footage, this tripod fits in the side of my hip pack. The legs are foldable and bendable and you can mount it on just about anything. It holds your iPhone with a flexible clamp or can swap in a mount for a GoPro. It is really, really versatile, and it allows you to get that footage wherever you are out in the mountains or on your local trail. So really one of the best things about this tripod is its versatility. The cell phone mount folds down and clamps out of the way so you don't rip it off if you crash on the trail. And then it has a great uh, pressurized system so it holds in. You can add attachments. It has a balance leveler so you know your shot is right. Really great. Looking at Amazon, you can see it's $12, it's uh, versatile, and you see all the different articulating angles that it has. It allows you to do so many cool different things. So if you wanna get that third party shot, this is the best tripod on the market that I've used. Next up on the list are longer replacement pedal pins for your platform pedals. So this adventure started with a trip to Lowe's after Googling what size pedal pins my Kona Wawa pedals required. And then after digging through bin after bin after bin of the right hex head, went back, checked Amazon, and for $9, you got 250 pieces, 6, 8, 10 millimeter, 12, 16, all at my doorstep in a couple of days. So the key is to make sure you've got the right size. Some of them require bolts. The Kona ones screw right in. The install is super, super simple. And my plan was to go from eight millimeters across all of the pins in the bike to 10 millimeters in the front and back, and then a concave eight millimeter on the sides. And so you can see the difference between the old and the new longer pins here. And the idea is that it'll be more grip, but definitely want to watch out for your shins. Install is super easy. Where all you need is a standard Allen key to spin out the old screws. You may need to air blast them or pick out some of the dirt from all the uh, dirt that is most likely on used pins. Spin them out. Uh, might not be a bad idea to put some Loctite on the new pins. I actually didn't do this, but I've had them on the trail so far without any issue. Then from there, you spin in the new ones and then just pay attention to where um, they are flush and tight without overstripping the actual pins. And from there, you've got a fresh set of pins on the pedals and you can take them out onto uh, the trail and get a feel for the better grip that you will benefit immediately. All right, so far so good. And so I've gotten four or five rides on the trail now and I can honestly say going uh, slightly longer have not caused any uh, foot slip issues and I love the new grip, so highly recommended. The fifth product on the list is the FSR Trail Shot portable water filter. Now, full disclosure, this can be found online or an REI for $49.99, so it does not fit underneath our $25 limit. But what we do know is that REI routinely offers 20% off of a full price item, which gets the dollars down a little bit. And what you need to know is most of us are not going on backcountry rides every single day where we need to trail filter water out of a mountain stream. So split the cost with a buddy of yours and make sure one of you has one of these because the great thing about this product is that it fits in your pack, you pull it out, just drop the end into the water, filter the water out, put it back into your bottle or your camel pack, and then you've got fresh unfiltered water with no issues and no problems. So again, the genius is in its simplicity. There's the filter in the nozzle, Nozzle goes into the stream wherever you can find water. Make sure it's moving water so that there's no stagnant bacteria that we might have to worry about. Pull it out, pump it, squeeze it into the water. Very, very intuitive and awesome compared to some of the other water filters out there. Again, higher than that $25 price point, but split it with a buddy for those backcountry adventures, and then we fit back underneath at that $25 price point. 
And just so you don't feel like you got cheated, here is a bonus uh, mountain bike part from way less than $25 from one of those Amazon made in China companies. And these are purple, green, blue colored uh, cable end ties, or not ties, but cable end clips. And from here, you get that little extra detail of color customization that allows you to customize your bike even further. So not much to it here, of course. Just wanted to show you the packaging that comes in. Crack it open. And then you get all of the colors under the rainbow. Uh, that green doesn't quite match the um, DVO green on my fork. So I'm going to opt for this cool orange color that matches the inset of the Kona Wawa pedals that I have on the Ritmo V2. Super simple. Make sure it doesn't fray. Pop it on, take it there, good to go. So super easy there, $7.99 on Amazon, get you 100 pieces of these cable end caps, less if you want just silver, an easy add-on to add a little extra bling to your bike. So there you have it, five awesome mountain bike products for less than $25, eh, maybe one that we had to make a little modification to, and then a bonus one to make that bike bling and shine. Hope you found them useful. Links in the description. Appreciate any purchases through there to help support the channel so we can all get out there together, find that flow.